Well, Louis, good to catch up in this off-season. Delighted to have reconfirmed that a couple of weeks ago we announced that you were part of the Blues family for the 2023-24 upcoming campaign. Um, what's your early thoughts uh, ahead of restarting in July, ready for August, September? Yeah, I mean, obviously it seems like a little bit a little bit far away, but um, really happy to have re-signed and obviously really excited um, for next season and what it brings. Hopefully there's a, a lot of familiar faces here next year that have been here this year, so that will give us some nice continuity. Um, and hopefully again we can push on. Like obviously this year we pushed on from last year, um, so fingers crossed that again next year we can um, have, a, have another good season and really um, start challenging those um, top full-time teams. Yeah, as you say, it kind of feels like that in terms of the building blocks. You know, your first season here got fifth, now we've got fourth. How do we continue that momentum? Because it's going to be difficult. Teams around us are going to do things um, in terms of their, their squad as well. How do we keep to that level to make sure that we're continually going up? Yeah, I think, well, firstly, is you've got to continue working hard. We've got to obviously um, continue evolving, but we've got to do that in the way that obviously suits Bedford and play that... Um, that positive attacking brand of rugby that is what Bedford Blues is about but we obviously have identified areas um, from from this season that we know we can improve and get better at and if we can keep improving those sort of one percenters across the board then hopefully that will naturally um, improve us and we can continue to to progress forward. In terms of going forward it's that continuity you talk about the halfback pairing pretty much stays the same Alex Day and Will Maisie announced at the same time as you so how key is that that in critical areas the continuity is going to be there going forwards. Yeah, I think it's always important. Um, it's always important to have firstly those relationships, but then also have sort of those people driving the team with a bit of experience um, and a bit of competition. Competition for places. Um, obviously, I want to keep pushing, pushing Will. Um, and yeah, as we move forward into next season, it'll be it'll be the same. So some nice continuity, and hopefully we can sort of um, marshal the team and drive us around the pitch. And for you, what maybe people don't give you enough credit for is you play a lot of minutes for this club. You're featuring a lot of games. Coming up towards 50 games next season, that's obviously going to be a target. In terms of the campaign as a whole, um, what's your thoughts going into it? Um, oh, obviously, I just want to play, continue enjoying playing rugby. Um, I want us to win, um, and especially at home. Win, win well, put on a performance um, as a team. And I just enjoy, to be honest, contributing to that in whatever capacity that is. And if that means it's you know working hard in the week and 15 minutes off the bench, then that is what it is. And if it means that you know I'm starting and playing 80 minutes, then then brilliant. But for me, it's more so about getting the team going in the right direction, and I'll do whatever I can to to benefit um, just, them. And just looking at the wider landscape, you did kind of take on a more not senior but a leadership role within the team last season how did you feel that transition worked and I guess that's something that you'll be looking to do again in the upcoming campaign yeah um, I think naturally as a as a fly off and in the halfbacks you have to take some um, responsibility and some leadership in that and um, you know help the team in that especially attacking direction um, but I'd probably, for me also obviously Previously, um, at Amptel as sort of captain and, and did a bit of coaching that um, it probably comes more naturally to me. Um, so hopefully, I can just you know turn to those those skills that I've developed. Um, and obviously, as I'm getting a little bit older, not too old, um, that experience that I've had around the championship and, and elsewhere um, can benefit maybe some of the younger boys in the squad um, and just the team in general. And looking at next season, we still don't really know how it's going to work in terms of there's still league positions to sort out, who comes in, etc. But what we do know is Premiership Cup, we're involved in. It gives you a chance to go at it with the big boys. Is that something that you'll be targeting next next season? We could have a trip to the Mattioli Woods for Leicester Tigers, King's Own for Gloucester, all, all that kind of thing? Yeah, oh, definitely. I think it's hugely exciting. Obviously, a couple of years ago when we had um, Saracens in the Championship, um, you know that was brilliant going there and just competing with with some of the best um, obviously it's in a World Cup year but that doesn't take away from the fact that we hopefully will have the opportunity to go up against some some premiership sides and test ourselves early in the season and there's no reason why we can't use that as a, as a springboard for us going into the, the championship season to really put ourselves in a good position